It's certainly frustrating to have your export from Final Cut stopped by an error message. I'm going to show you how to clear that error so that you can continue with your export. There are many reasons why an error will occur during exporting. Most frequently, errors are caused by a bad render files or a corrupted frame of the timeline. Since this doesn't happen very often, then it's pointless trying to remember what every error message means. It's much more useful to have a workflow for all error messages that you get when you're exporting. There are two criteria that will speed up your workflow. The first, if the error message mentions error, like render frame error failed, then it's most likely something to do with a render file that Final Cut has created previously. And the second type of error is where there is a frame number. Then it's likely to be a corrupt frame in the timeline. The processes that you do are the same, but the order that you do them may speed things up. So let's look at the first workflow and that's where you have a potential render file issue. So select the project in your browser and go to the file menu, delete generated project files, delete all render files and then press OK. So now you would quit Final Cut, relaunch it and try the export again. If you get another error message, then refer to this next workflow Workflow 2 is where a frame number is mentioned in the error message. You want to go to Final Cut's preferences and in the general tab you want to change the time display to frames. And you'll see now that you are seeing frames in the timeline. So now you want to navigate to the frame that is at issue. So let's say it's 1300. So we'll simply type in here 1300. The playhead has moved to that frame and this is the clip that's at issue. So select that clip in the timeline. So now press Shift F and that will take you to the original footage in the browser. If it's a large clip, you may need to increase the zoom level so you can see where those yellow outlines are. So those yellow outlines represent the clip so the next step is to select the clip in the browser and drag that on top of the clip in the timeline and you'll get the option to replace from the start. But if there were effects in the clip in the timeline, you need to select that clip and you need to copy it, that's Command C, and then go to the clip in the browser and drag that on top, then replace from start and then select that clip and using Command, Option and V, paste those attributes or those effects that were on the original clip back in. Now try and export again. If you get another message with the same frame number as on the previous error message, then what I'd do is I'd go and try workflow one, that's deleting the render files. If it's a different number in the error message, it implies that there's a second corrupted frame in the timeline so repeat workflow two. Hopefully there's not too many corrupted frames. And I'd suggest if you are finding a lot of corruptions that you try deleting the render files as well. That's the workflow one as well as trying workflow two. The process can take some time, but it will ensure that you get an export that works. Well, that's in 90% of the cases anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe and press the bell.